All right, today I'm going to show you Final Cut Pro 10. I have my uh, daughter's uh, kindergarten graduation that I need to put a slideshow together. Instead of using iMovie, I'm going to use Final Cut Pro 10. And what I did, I went through and I numbered all of the folders. So what I want to do, I'm going to just open up Final Cut Pro 10. Now, usually I have an external drive. I don't ever suggest that you edit this way, uh, but I think you should have external drive. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go File, New Event, and I'm going to call it a graduation. Graduation. And then I'm going to import media. And then I'm going to go to my desktop and then I'm going to go to grad. Then I'm going to import selected everything in there. And then I want to make sure I have import folders as keyword collections. That's really important. And I'm not going to copy the this to the final cut event folder i'm just going to leave it on the desktop because i just want to leave it there after i finish with this i'm going to uh, delete it most likely so hit import and then once i import it it's going to see a title that you can't do i can't put in there and then that i'm going to hit continue and i'm fine and it's going to import them all as the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is great for me because this is the order of the slideshow. So instead of me putting them in there already, they're already keywords uh, connected. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through each of these, the pictures, and then I'll be able to build the, uh, the story like that. So I'm going to hit graduation, new project, and then I'm just going to call this rough cut one. All right, so then we have the grandparents day that we're gonna start out with. So then I'm just gonna put a title placeholder here, a basic title, and then I can always change it. And then and then I'm gonna just call this grandparents day. Grandparents day. And then we're just gonna uh, put these pictures down here. I'm gonna append these. I'm hitting the E key to append these to the storyline and uh, I can always I can always change them and uh, we're gonna go through like that alrighty so we have those pictures there and then once we have grandparents day we're gonna do the same thing for fall fun and uh, we're gonna just call this fall fun and then we're gonna go through and then we'll adjust the pictures with the Ken Burns effect and all of that stuff so I'm just gonna go through here I'm just going to select all of these and I'm just going to select them and hit E and I put them all in the timeline at one time. So you see what I did. And then um, now the, the default for the stills uh, are going to be something else. So I can change that in the preferences. So if I went under command comma or if I went under to, yeah, it's command comma. Uh, if I want to go into editing, uh, let's just see still images is four seconds so if I wanted to change that I can make all still images three seconds but right now I'm just gonna put that in there change the basic title and this is how I'm going to do it in Final Cut and then remember I'm gonna go here and we're gonna do the Ken Burns effect for all of these pictures and to make sure that they they are good and uh, we're gonna come over here and then we'll make sure we have Ken Burns on that one so Ken Burns on this one as well. You have to make sure that your timeline is over, over, over it. So uh, we'll we'll just make sure that we we do all of that stuff for all of the pictures on here. So that's just a brief thing. Keywords are so important, especially when you're doing slideshows. And I think that if you use Final Cut Pro uh, 10 for your slideshows, they'll come out a lot better. But you want to make sure that you organize them on the front end. All right, take care.